Today we're going to look at how to do uh, directory delete uh, based on the directory being empty because maybe we have some process going where we're moving files around and we wind up with empty directories that we want to get rid of. And two solutions came to mind. Solution one is we can do a git directories and a git file with the, from the file info class on the given directory and check if those are counts are both zero. And if they're both zero, then do a directory info dot delete uh, to delete directory. And the second solution is actually a lot more eloquent. All you we could just do a directory info dot delete. And if there are files or subdirectories in the directory, it'll fail because it's against the rules for it to delete a non-empty directory. Of course, the problem with solution two is it requires us to put a lot of faith in uh, Microsoft's API to work as advertised. And another additional layer we have to add to solution two is we have to have a try, catch, finally type structure to prevent the uh, program from ab-ending or bombing out uh, on the first non-empty -em directory we try to delete. Well, I created a uh, directory of directories in order to test this idea and essentially a lot of them are copies from old programs we were running on using directory info and file info but the first directory is uh, in the over directory which is called test underscore over directory is test 01 and it has about five files in it second directory is empty third directory has another five files in it fourth directory has another five files in it fifth directory is empty and sixth directory has another five files in it so basically, if the program worked correctly, test 02 will get deleted, and test 05 will get deleted, and everything else will be left alone. So in order to run the program, I just have one button and a label. And when I press the button, the label will say what the name of the over directory we're using is. And in the code behind, the over directory is just specified in a string constant. We have const string over directory equals at sign, which allows us to use the backslash character rather than it being treated as a escape character. And c colon test underscore over dir. And then if we look in the uh, button event handler, I simply create a message that says the over directory is equal to over underscore directory string constant and then make the label.txt equal to that so that'll display at the top of the form and then I call a function called delete empty directories with the over directory this makes it generalized so we can use it a lot of different places it's always good to write generalized code and then in the delete empty directories I do a new directory info on the over directory instantiate that class and then I get all the directories under the over directory uh, via get directories into a array of directories called DIRs. And then I use for each to uh, step through each of these directories in turn using a range variable called dir. So I'm saying directory info dir in dirs. And then we do have the try catch finally structure I mentioned previously. And basically in the try, I pop up a message box that says attempting to delete and then dir.name, which is the uh, short name of the, uh, the directory we're accessing. And then I do attempt to delete it with a dir.delete, dir being a directory info object. And then if it succeeded, it'll fall through to, to the next line and it'll pop up a message box that says the delete operation was successful. But if it fails, it'll drop down to the catch block. And I'll pop up a message box that said the delete operation failed, basically because there was either subdirectories or files in the directory. And in our case, it's files. 
and then just to be complete I have a finally block which gets executed if neither of these blocks get executed although one or the other should always get executed so if we compile and run this program press the delete uh, empty directories and you see the uh, over directory gets specified in the label line and we have the message, first message box that says attempting to delete test 01 and this has files in it so I press OK and it says delete operation failed which it should and I press OK again and say attempting to delete test 02 which is an empty directory and it says delete operation was successful so at least in terms of the message boxes this looks like it's working so if we continue on this should fail this should fail this should succeed and it did and this should fail so of course we're not going to trust the program we're going to go back and look at the uh, uh, Windows Explorer to check whether it really happened the way it said. So if we look in the test over directory, we see one is still there, two was deleted because it was empty, three and four are still there, five was deleted because it was empty, and six is still there. And the files are all still there, so everything went good. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned a lot, and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe.